Long before scenes like this one in St. Louis City, the county jail was surrounded in controversy. Now there's a new director in charge. Fox Files reporter Chris Hayes was there today to see some of his public safety changes. This jail that can't seem to keep a director has a new guy in charge who wants to do things like never before, starting with giving you this inside look. This is what's called a housing unit, two floors of cells. Two people bunk in each room, and this is what it's like to be locked inside one. That's Officer Mario Reed looking in. I asked him about the locks, since controversy at the city jail exposed malfunctions. Your doors lock? Oh, the doors, they, they do their door checks regularly. So they make sure the locks are all right, legit, they do. Because this is the same system as the city, but you're not having the same problem? No. The county has also had its share of controversy with five deaths in 2019. Officer Reed says it's different under the new director, Doug Burris. I think the old way of where we're here just to take control and be corrective and uh, not give hope or opportunity or even dignity, that's going away. Burris came out of retirement from his previous job as chief U.S. probation officer for Eastern Missouri. It took him one minute into our tour to correct me when I asked about inmates. I actually prefer the term resident because okay. the majority of the people here of, of a thousand people, we have two or three that are serving a sentence. The rest are awaiting trial. The residents notice. Offender, inmate, you know what I mean? It makes people think the worst of you, which ain't always the situation. This is the kitchen where they volunteer to work under Burris's new program. This is great medicine for the mind. It keeps your mind busy. A lot of time, I mean, all this is is idle time. Burris believes in helping residents grow rather than constraining them, like Joshua Ross Davis, who's renewed his love to sing. Lord, please don't send my soul to hell. Burris says he will write a defendant's judge to report good behavior as much as he will report offenses. He showed us one letter that even called out a former corrections officer. The letter you're referring to was a man who became a pro prolific reader who was studying for his GD GED and he had too many books in, in his cell and he received a write-up for that. And when I wrote to the judge about it, I said that was one of the more silly uh, write-ups I'd ever seen that we should encourage this type of work and behavior. You can see everything happening from one spot in the housing unit. This rec room where they're playing handball, the phone bank to call families and lawyers, and lots of chess playing. It teaches people to think three and four steps ahead, which is what, what we want them to do when they get out of here. We asked St. Louis leaders for the same access to its Justice Center. Mayor Lida Krusen's office told us not at this time. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.